Hey everybody, welcome to Sim Sensei. And in this video, I want to really quickly explain you guys how the navigate mode works, which will allow you to move your mouse or on the console, allow you to use your controller. Whenever you have a configuration which is set up for you, make sure to ask the person of which you're using its config if everything is set up accordingly. But if it's set up accordingly, everything will work. If you move over to the three dots at the top of your sim matrix manager and if you're on the app you can really simply click at the right or tap at the right top and go over to the global settings right over here we see a customized navigate mode assuming you're either on your controller or on your um, mouse and keyboard this is important for other people that are using my configuration make sure to set these timeouts and duration 255 double 250 tap 300 hold, 100 tap action duration, 25 scroll input duration. This works the best with my configuration. Moving over to customize navigate mode. When we go over here, you can see that I've gotten a activation set up. I press a key and if I press this key, my navigate mode goes active. I also have activate at startup enabled. If you want the navigate mode to be active so that you can use your gamepad on your console, Whenever your uh, Zim starts up and you always want to have it active, make sure you in, put in Gamepad Auto Activate. Currently, I haven't gotten a roller connected, but if I want to, right at the bottom of mouse and keyboard, it will show me a button I need to press or two types of buttons I need to press in order to activate the navigate mode. To quickly explain this, the navigate mode essentially turns off your configuration and gives you access to the device that, you're, ha that you have connected. However, if your configuration is set to, let's say, controller PC, controller PS5, or Xbox PS4, it will not allow you to use your mouse and keyboard on the computer. It will only allow you to use your roller, and you will have to constantly disconnect your mouse from your Zim and connect it to your PC. I really hope that Zim at some point will introduce the ability that if you have any of those modes set up on the PC, you still will be able to use your mouse and keyboard because your Zim is connected. To the computer at that point now moving back in what i or at least what you're going to be doing is you're going to select the first square which is mostly likely going to show the bracket to the left and the bracket to the right on the right side if you want that you can just press those two buttons and activate your navigate mode or you can do what i did and let's go into the box highlight the key you want to press which in my case is f6 select f6 and do the same thing again for the second key. So in this case, I'm also doing it for the second key. Right now, I can simply press F6 to activate my navigate mode and then press F6 again to deactivate my navigate mode. And whenever I deactivate it, my aim assist will be active and the game will show up as controller again. The same would go for your gamepad. You will have two buttons, which might, I believe, are the option key and the middle key or the uh, map key on the controller, the one with the, the little squares. Um, you will just press those buttons or set one button. Again, for a controller, I advise you not to. So just keep it this way as intended. So make sure that it is simply two button presses. That's how it works. The last thing that I will really recommend you to do is some config creators, they will set up a loading config that is set up via keys that you press on your keyboard. Let's say one of those keys are the ones that you press. If you haven't seen those, you might be switching to a different configuration and be wondering why did I switch to a different configuration? It will show up here. I have gone in here and cleared both of those binds as well as set up that whenever the navigate mode is active, only then it can load configs via a hotkey. Again, I really recommend people to set this if you don't want to have sudden or weird config switches. Less the mouse speed multiplier is what your mouse speed feels like in the navigate mode or on your system. The higher this is, the faster, the lower, the, the, the slower it will be. Um, but at most, it is really good. Some people have commented out to me that they have had issues with their mouse settings because they uh, will be on their system and they will have troubles on their systems with how things were working or um, other types of things. What I would really recommend you to do is go to additional mouse settings then right over there you're going to go to pointer options and you're going to turn off enhanced pointer precision very important if this is really much to the left and it feels really slow put it in the center 
again that is kind of it for this video i want to thank all of you guys for watching in a dedicated next video we're most likely going to be diving into aim assist boosters and these kind of things but they will be on their own dedicated series again thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like maybe consider the subscription uh, make sure to turn on the notifications if you do not want to miss any of the new videos and of course leave a comment with your thoughts and if you're a hater feel free to leave that out there as well as i'm happy to comment and i'm surely to comment to you uh, to let you know what i think again thank you guys so much and if you do need any additional help with whatsoever feel free to join my discord server a link is down below and will be available at the cloud pages for each single configuration again thank you guys so much and good luck